passing of a television icon, B. Arthur was a fixture in millions of living rooms, first as the outspoken feminist Maud, and later as a sharp-witted golden girl. Here's NBC's Kevin Tibbles. Listen, you punk! <laughs> On television, her characters were loud, strident, and headstrong. I warn you, I did time in Attica. <laughs> In the early 70s, she was Maude, the outspoken liberal with the razor-sharp wit. Let me tell you something, Shorty. The show confronted controversial issues, but none more so than the episode in which the character Maude had an abortion. Vivian, I'm pregnant. Arthur won an Emmy for the role in 1977. Boy, the Maude was actually a spin-off from the groundbreaking All in the Family. Thank you for being a friend. In the mid-80s, another Emmy as she became one of the Golden Girls. Once again, Arthur's Dorothy was razor sharp. So you keep your bloomers on, Scarlett. He's taking me out tomorrow night. She was born Bernice Frankel in New York City in 1922. Her acting career began off-Broadway in the late 40s. On Broadway, Arthur went on to win a Tony Award for her 1966 performance in the musical Maine, a performance she revisited in the film. A spokesman for the family said she died early Saturday at her Los Angeles home, saying that she had suffered from cancer but refusing to give further details. While B. Arthur has a successful career on both the stage and on television, it will likely be those loud and commanding roles on the small screen she'll be remembered for. Let's face it, she once told an interviewer, nobody ever asked me to play Juliet. B. Arthur was 86. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago. Betty White and Rue McClanahan were not only B. Arthur's co-stars, they were also her good friends in this morning. Both of them are joining us on the phone. Ladies, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Rudy. Rue, Ru, Ru, let me start with you. You started working with uh, B. back in 1974, I think it was, on Maud. What was your first impression of her? Golly, it was 1972, if you want oh. to be honest about it. <laughs> My first impression of her was that she and I met went right into rehearsal because i was three days late getting to the set they they uh, they just let someone go and they replaced her with me and b and i worked like just like cream right to get right at the moment we met we got along personally we got along professionally and that was the abortion show in fact the one that, that was played just a few minutes right. ago and then years later Rue, you had the opportunity to work with b again on the golden girls we know her as a brilliant actress, but what was she like off screen, off camera? She was she was very private and rather shy, rather timid. Uh, she was her emotions were just under the skin. You know, you could look at her cross-eyed and she burst into tears. I saw her do that one. Someone said something just it wasn't really even hurtful, but she took it hurtfully. Thank you for your call. Oh, thank you for my call. She burst into tears. She was a sensitive soul. Sensitive, yeah. I just want to make sure that wasn't us losing Betty. Betty, Betty are you still there? I'm still oh, here. Good. Let me, let me ask you, in a statement you released, you said this. You said, I knew it would hurt. I just didn't know it would hurt this much. She was such a big part of my life. What, do you, what will you remember most about her, Betty? Well, oddly enough, I, of course, Golden Girls was that, that was such a happy time in, in all our lives. But... I also will always remember her one-woman show. I went to see it three times, and she was just, just magnificent. And to know what Lou just said about her being shy, to see her get up on that stage and command it as a one-woman show was, was really mind-boggling. Well, that's when she was in control, you know. When she was performing, she was totally in control. But it was in her personal life, I meant, you know, Betty. Oh, it's so true. That she you was so, so sensitive. Right yeah. You know, Betty, you also said uh, you were awfully glad that, that B was here to receive her Lifetime Achievement Award. How important was it to her to have her work recognized? I think I think it meant more to her than she would ever admit. She, uh, uh, her assistant, Dan Watt, told me that she was really excited about that, and that's why I was so thrilled that it happened when she was there to enjoy it and could go and, and accept all the all the praise. 
and uh, rather than have it happen after the play. But you know, the thing she loved most was singing in front of an orchestra. And that's why I'm so glad, not only that she got that award, but that she got to do her one-woman show, Betty. Oh, she got to do it on Broadway, and it was, you know, a hit, and she got to tour it and do it for years. I always loved her singing. Her singing just always knocked me out. And she got to sing 17 songs in that show. <laughs> oh, it was wonderful. You know, it's easy to see why you guys were all yeah. such a good team on TV. You're great on the phone, and you can't even <laughs> see each other. Hey, Betty and Ruth, thank you so thank much. You. Our condolences to you, and of course, to her family members and other friends as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. She will be missed. Betty White and Rue McClanahan, we're going to be right back.